Have you been thinking about increasing the click and view counts on your videos, but you've tried everything in your arsenal, but you can't seem to boost that click rate and viewers? Maybe you're missing a few pointers. Let's talk about that. Hey there, welcome to Freedom Quick Tips, where we want to keep your channel safe and monetized. It's hard to get those clicks on your videos, people watching your videos, and extending that watch time rate. In this episode, we will be giving you tips to increase those clicks. And number one of these tips is to create a thumbnail that screams to be clicked. When we say a thumbnail that screams to be clicked, it's a type of thumbnail that tells the viewers what kind of video it will play out. It also evokes emotions that people would want to click, like for example the death battle versus videos where your favorite characters from ranging genres fight each other in the bid for supremacy. Or maybe when you want to make a cover video for your crazy violin skills, guitar skills, or maybe drum skills. Go and make it happen. Number two of these tips is use call to actions. Call to actions is really important in your YouTube career as it will help you keep your viewers on their toes when you make future videos. Calling your viewers to subscribe, like, and ring that notification bell icon, you can help them and yourself to keep them coming back to watch your videos. You can place these CTAs in the last 30 seconds of your videos as during the first minutes it will feel awkward as you haven't fulfilled any promises yet. In some cases, you can place your CTAs in the middle of your content too, as the viewer already has a taste of your content, style, and somewhat a sneak peek of what's to come. Number three is playlists are everything. We've made a video about playlists before and we could not stress enough that playlists are important to any content creator. Why? Well, playlists provide your audiences an avenue you where they can binge watch your videos and that's what we want, right? If your playlists are always organized and updated, they can just let the automation work in your favor. Number four of these tips is the end cards. Do you know those boxes at the last 30 to 10 seconds that flashes thumbnails on the video? Those are called end cards. End cards help you guide your viewers in the right direction to keep on watching your videos. These are important especially if you want to keep them interested. If you pair this with amazing thumbnail, then that's a total win. Your viewers will surely continue to watch more of your videos. We recommend having the most recent video and the best video for the viewers as those have the best click rate. Also, don't forget to include your subscription button and your website or Patreon site if you have one. And number five is importance of SEO. SEO is another important detail that you need to consider. In order for YouTube to know what kind of content you are creating, uh, you have to have an optimized SEO as it will help you rank better on YouTube's algorithm. Now, teaching this cannot be within just one video. Scour the internet to know more about SEO and how it works. But here are some quick tips. Number one is use as many descriptive keywords on your titles. Repeat those same keywords on your descriptions and add some more. Don't be spamming like spam and arrange the keywords in a legible manner. Tags are not as important as they were before, but add 5 to 10 keywords just to give a little more context to YouTube system. And remember, use only keywords that are relevant to your video. Using PewDiePie as a keyword and having no relevant content will only hurt your video performance and maybe, just maybe, get a community guideline strike for spamming. Number six, building a community is not a walk in the park. Why? Because you will need to have the support of a ton of people so that you can build a community. Ideally, a community is a group of people who believes in an idea. The idea inculcated in your community will depend on you. Will it be a community that believes you are the best content creator? Or maybe a community that shares common interests, which is the most common one. Or maybe you believe in an ideology. That depends on all of you. Remember that if you have a strong community, no matter what type of content you make, as long as it resonates with them, they will support you and watch your content. Learn to know them and learn from them. What do they want? When can they watch your videos? Planning a live stream? Ask them about what the stream should be about. Interacting with your community is as important as the previous points. Now that you know some of the tips, you can hack your way on YouTube to get more clicks. But since you are here, it's pro tip time! Did you know that videos that haven't been done before are the ones that have have the most views, this means that you need to be original and genuine in another whole level. What do we mean by this? Or say for example you have a question in your mind and no one on YouTube has been creating content about it. Maybe let's say no one has ever solved a 6x6 Rubik's Cube and you know how to solve it. So pro tip, ask more questions on what people haven't seen and how you can create those videos. Fill the gap and create content that is not there yet. Before you leave, please hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell icon. This has been Freedom Quick Tips. See you on the next episode. Goodbye!